Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to do a bacon wrap pork loin in a Dutch oven. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, here's our pork loin. All we've done with this guy is we marinated it, salt, sugar, and a little bit of pineapple and rosemary for about five hours. We poked a hole in him down here and stuffed him full of fresh pineapple, get a little moisture inside, and season it with a uh, backwoods gourmet rub on the outside. Over here we have, uh, on a piece of cellophane, we have prepared a bacon weave. Uh, didn't show you how to do this, but it's not that difficult. Plenty of, uh, just search that on YouTube to find out how to do that. That's how I found out how to do it. So we're gonna wrap that around that pork loin. All right, we gotta get this uh, pork loin roast onto this bacon. And uh, we're gonna do that real simple. We're gonna take whatever side we want to be up. We're gonna lay it right in the center of our bacon weave. Now, uh, remember we have this on cellophane, so it's gonna be easy to just lift it up on one side, bring it on, and get it started on your roast, and then we're gonna roll it, just like that, right in that bacon, kinda of tucking it around. And we're gonna grab the ends, just kind of like a sausage. We're gonna twist the ends up of our cellophane, and that'll pull your bacon in tight to your roast. Kind of like a big bacon wrap sausage. See him right there? Now we got him. We'll put him back on the pan, and then we're gonna put him in the refrigerator, and that will help this uh, keep its form. Until uh, we're ready to put it on the Dutch oven. All right. Well, time to get our sides ready. We're gonna. We just got some uh, red potatoes here, about uh, four or five small red potatoes. We're gonna put these in this number ten over here. So we're just gonna toss them in a bowl. We have some olive oil here. We give them a good drizzle of olive oil. Toss them all around. Get them all nice and coated with that olive oil. And um, no big uh, secret here. We're just going to give it some of this uh, McCormick um, steak seasoning, Montreal. And I'll show you what we do next. We just give them a, we gave them a good coating of Montreal. I'm gonna toss them around. Make sure that gets uh, stuck to them everywhere. And then we're gonna squeeze uh, a lime over top. And you might have seen us do this on shore lunch. Um, this lime really, really wakes up these potatoes. So we got our Dutch oven over here already ready to go. It's already old and ready. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump those guys right in there. Uh, lime juice included. And we'll get that ready to go on the coals.
we use the rack that uh, came with my Dutch oven and a piece of wax paper on the bottom. We don't want this uh, to stick to that um, to that rack. Good idea. Now we got our uh, pork roast. Best way to handle this guy is just by hand. We'll untwist it a little bit. And get okay, we carefully rolled that guy out of the cellophane onto the rack with a piece of wax paper below it. And uh, so now we've got this set up for 350. And we've got our potatoes going over here. And we're going to go ahead and put the lid on and get our coals on the top. take this guy's temperature you can see it's at uh, 124 just a little while longer we really don't want to uh, go too much further about 145 150 so we'll fire some new coals for the top we'll finish it off okay second set of coals on the pork roast I'm going to try to brown that bacon off, finish it off, put a few more over here on the potatoes. They're almost done. Let's try to get a little brownness on them. So add, I didn't add anything to the bottom, just the top. Okay, I just took this guy's temperature. He's at 157, which is actually a little farther than I wanted to go. To one, I only wanted to go to 145. We're just going to go ahead and put him on the plate there. See us nice bacon wrap. And uh, we don't want to overdo it. Pork loin is very easy to dry out. We're going to set them over here, put some uh, aluminum foil over top of them, and uh, let them rest for a little while. And these potatoes are done too. You want to come on in and look at those. They're gorgeous. Good, so we're going to just set them aside here. Take them up. Reduce that uh, liquid down, get most of the water out of it. Then go ahead and sprinkle uh, a little bit of flour in there. What I'm going to make here is a roux. It's almost got a little bit too much uh, flour in there. It's all caked up, so. Put it in there just till that uh, all comes back around. We want to brown this flour. See, it looks kind of brown now. That's probably just from the. Uh, Dripping. The extra out. We'll save that for later. Now we're just going to pour in some nice cold milk. Just a little. That'll come back. 
back up to a boil and that'll start making a gravy. We all got, also got some water standing by. You see how it's thickening up? Just want to put in a little bit of time. Put a little bit of water in and uh, season it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and season it. We're going to give it some uh, fresh uh, ground sea salt. About a teaspoon. About a, two teaspoons of fresh ground black pepper. We'll give that a stir. Let it thicken back up. And uh, that'll be our sauce for the meat. Alright, time for the plate. We're going to grab some of our uh, rusty pork. Roasted uh, potatoes here first. Put a few of those right there on there. Really look good. And uh, we made some black eyed peas. You know, good southern style black eyed peas. Made from uh, real dried ones. We got bacon in there. So, we'll go with black eyed peas. Now for our uh, beautiful pork roast. Go ahead and uh, we'll get us one from the middle here. Gonna slice that out. Remember, we got a pineapple uh, chunk in the middle of that. Gonna carefully slice that, try to keep the bacon intact. bacon wrap and then uh, last but not least have a little bit of our uh, gravy we just made there I'll bring that over the top just a drizzle Get a little drizzle on the potatoes piece of potato garnish there we go Hey folks, yeah. the uh, the dinner was awesome. The pork roast was just about perfect. Those potatoes with the gravy, oh my god, just off the chain. Uh, black eyed peas, uh, good old southern style black eyed peas, can't beat them. Hey, uh, thanks for watching it back with Gourmet Today. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Uh, and as always, please subscribe, share, comment. We'll uh, try to get back to every single person. We'll see you next time. Hey.